Hey everyone, this is Galen at ECU Master USA, and today we're going to go through some of the best practices in getting ready to contact ECU Master USA tech support. So here we're looking at a VE table and a graph log from a previous tuning session. If you don't know how to record a graph log, see the link below in the description. Watch that video in its entirety and then pick us up back here and we'll continue. So now that you know how to record a graph log, let's take a look at our project file and our graph log that we have open in our EMU Black software. In this log, we have a perfectly good running car. The, this is the final tune for this project. And I wanna highlight a couple things that we get contacted most frequently about. Uh, sometimes we get contacted and people aren't seeing RPM, which is this red line here. So let's take a look at our log. Uh, in this log, it's showing a little bit more than that graph log you were looking at previously. Uh, you can go ahead and configure that this way, set log channel to whatever you want. Uh, the EMU Black will record the entirety of your project file as it's running. So all the data that we'd see is already there. You don't have to configure it for us. Um, so if you don't have RPM, uh, back to that in the scope log, if you don't have RPM, this red line would be zero and you wouldn't get anything here in your primary trigger. So this is actually your scope log, and this is really important for us to see if you're having any ignition trigger issues. If you're not seeing RPM and you haven't recorded a scope log, you're not gonna see anything here in the, uh, in the scope. It's just gonna be entirely blank. For us to help you diagnose any problems you're having with your ignition triggers, we're going to need a scope log in addition to your graph log. Here's the best way to record this. You'll have somebody cranking the engine with the starter, and while the motor is spinning, press and hold this blue arrow to get the trigger data. You're gonna count 15 seconds or so, and then release this with the motor still spinning. Then you can have your assistant release the key. That gives us consistent RPM with the motor spinning so that we can figure out if you're actually getting data out of your, the correct data out of your ignition triggers. So you've recorded a scope log and a graph log. We're gonna go ahead and save these uh, and make sure you name them in a way that's easy to read. You would assign this your name, uh, the car, make that easy and then save. And do the same thing here for the graph log. save the project file now and as you're saving the project file make sure that you don't alter any of the data in the project file because it won't line up anymore with the data that we see here in the graph log and in the scope you want all three points of data to be referencing the same project file so don't make any alterations You can also reference our EMU First Start Checklist. We'll link that in the description below. Outlines it right there, nice and easy for you. And now that we've saved all three points of data here, uh, we've saved our project file, we've saved our graph, our graph log, we've saved our scope log. Uh, let's go and compose a sample email and how to contact tech support. So here we have a sample email that has all the information that we need in order to help you. So you're gonna address the email to us here. You'll be sending this to support at ecumasterusa.com that goes directly into our tech inbox. And let's take a run through of the necessary information that we need in order to help you best. Subject line, outline the problem that you're having and your name there at the end. It, it really helps us if we can quickly identify who we're talking to and what about. So you'll see here in our email body, there's some background information on the project. Uh, basically, you'll outline for us what issue it is that you're seeing. And here we're saying that this is the first time this 
person is trying to start this project. Um, this is their first time using an EMU or an aftermarket ECU. And this really gives us some helpful background information in trying to figure out where we need to start on this. Uh, so having as much information pertinent to the problem uh, really helps speed things up for us and helps us get you an accurate response in a timely manner. The more information you give us, the faster we can help you identify what the issue is and the faster we can help get you and your car up and running. So we'll typically try and respond via email, but if we see something really odd that doesn't correspond with the information given to us, we'll try and reach out via phone. So it'd be really helpful if you include what the best time is to reach you, your phone number there at the end of the email. Uh, we're in the office from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Central Time, Monday through Friday. In this example, the vehicle is an 01 Lexus IS300, the factory 2J VVTi uh, with the factory Toyota engine harness on top of it. And they're using an, one of our EMU blacks and our ECU Master USA plug and play adapter for this vehicle. If you've done something like direct wire the EMU black onto your Toyota harness by cutting off the factory ECU connectors, please mention that somewhere in the email. Or if you've made your own custom harness or purchased an aftermarket harness from somewhere else, please mention that here in the email as well. It really narrows down the issues that we'll be looking at. This person is also using one of our 10 bar boost pressure sensors, one of our intake air temp sensor kits, you know, that's still using the stock 2J coils and injectors and the stock ignition triggers so that means the stock crank and cam sensors and trigger wheels and also the stock cams on the motor so having all of this detailed information in the email really helps paint a picture for us as to what your setup is if it's a common setup and if there might be a common problem somewhere that we can help you address almost immediately so don't forget to attach your graph log your scope log and your project file in the email uh, these, in combination with all of the information that you've provided in the email body, will give you the smoothest tech support experience from us here at ECU Master USA. Thanks for watching, and keep an eye up for more videos from us here at ECU Master USA.